public, private, magnet, charter, and fundamental schools. What does all of that mean? I'm here to give you the scoop on Tampa area schools. Hey everybody, Melanie Atkinson here, Realtor with Smith & Associates in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida, and I am here today with some very important information. I get asked all the time about the schools in the Tampa Bay area. Everybody wants to know if the schools are any good. I don't live in other states, so I can't really compare the quality of schools in Florida to your particular state. Now I have heard from clients that Florida doesn't always have the best reputation when it comes to public schools. Although there may be some truth to that, I can say with 100% certainty that there are some wonderful schools, administrators, teachers, and staff in the state of Florida. How are the schools is always a hard question for me to answer directly because of the very important professional and ethical standards that I have to adhere to as a realtor. However, that does not diminish your need for the information, so today I'm going to give you the tips and tools to figure it all out. Some of these are general professional tips and others are based on my personal experience Experience, having had three kids go through school in the Tampa Bay area. I have had personal experience in public, private, and magnet schools in Hillsborough County. For the purposes of this episode, I'm going to be talking about the counties that I work in most often, Pinellas, Hillsborough, and Pasco. Tip number one, where you live determines the public school that you're zoned for. If you have a particular school that you really want your kids to go to, then living within that school zone is very important. In all three counties that I'm referring to, there are links on the school websites that allow you to look up an address to see what school is zoned for that address. I will have all of those links in the description box for you to reference. Don't trust any of the school information that you're seeing on the online home search engines. That information is confusing and sometimes not accurate, so it is better to go directly to the county website and look up a particular address. Tip number two, if you don't like the school that you are zoned for, you do have other options. Within the public school system in the Tampa Bay area, we have magnet programs, charter programs, virtual schools, choice schools, and fundamental schools in Pinellas County. Now what is available absolutely depends on the county that you live in. So what does all of this mean? Magnet schools are public elementary, middle, or high schools whose curricula are theme-based and technology-rich. Magnet schools offer students all sorts of programs such as international baccalaureate programs, STEM schools, performing arts programs, culinary schools, and so many more. I had one of my sons go through the International Baccalaureate program at Robinson High School and had a wonderful experience and was very prepared for college academics. Charter schools are independent public schools operated by a nonprofit organization. They hire their own teachers, design their own academic programs, and control their own finances. A lot of charter schools do have specialized programs, but there are a lot of these schools in the area, and it will take some time to research all of it. Some counties have easier to access charter school information than others. Thank you, Pasco County, for your direct links. Fundamental schools are only located in Pinellas County. These are family-oriented schools with a very structured environment and joint parent-teacher-student commitment. Important features include a focus on student responsibility and self-discipline, daily homework, a more strict dress code, and required attendance at conferences and monthly parent meetings. In other words, you as a parent will be highly involved in the school process if you choose a fundamental school, so you need to be prepared for that. Fundamental schools do tend to score very high on Florida State testing, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Please keep in mind that all of the programs I just talked about do have specific application processes. Some schools will select students based on a lottery system, other ones have geographical boundaries, and other ones have academic requirements, especially for the high school programs. It is a lot to navigate, but all three counties have online resources to help answer questions. You'll need to really pay attention to application deadlines, especially if you're not going to be moving until close to the start of a school year. Another option that might work for your family is virtual school. All three counties have virtual school opportunities. Tip number three, bus transportation may be limited. In Hillsborough County, for example, if you live within two miles of the school, you may not be offered bus transportation. Now that's not a big deal if you live right around the corner from the school, but walking a mile and a half in the middle of August heat with a seven-year-old is very difficult. Not surprisingly, most parents will drive to drop off and pick up. 
This will obviously lead to long car lines that can sometimes disrupt the flow of normal traffic. Not to mention all the time you spend sitting in your car waiting for dismissal. The day I was done with car line was one of my favorite days. If you go with a magnet charter or fundamental school, you may be provided with bus transportation, but it may be a very long distance. Your child may have a very early wake up time in order to get to the school on time. Or you as a parent might have a very long commute if you choose to drive. If bus transportation is really important to your family, please make sure that you research all of the bus information on the county websites. Tip number four, your school zone may change. Let me repeat that. Your school zone may change. All counties reserve the right to change their school zones. This can be a very painful process, especially if you have your heart set on specific schools. The districts will tend to give you a lot of notice. They will have open forums for parent feedback, but it is still difficult. So please keep in mind that regardless of where you live, at some point, the school zones may change. New schools are popping up all over the place, especially in high growth areas. Think about all the high growth areas that we're seeing right now. To the Northeast, we have Wesley Chapel and Zephyr Hills and San Antonio. To the Southeast, Parrish and Palmetto and all of those areas in between. They have to continue to build new schools to keep up with the population growth. Also keep in mind that even in long time established areas, there can be some questions about schools. For instance, New high rises that are built may be zoned for different schools than the houses that are right next to them. Now, I don't want you to worry too much about this. I know I've emphasized it because I want you to know it's a possibility, but there are plenty of areas that have had the same schools for many, many years. Tip number five, even if you don't have kids, school zones are still important. Highly rated school zones tend to be very popular with buyers. So homes in those school zones tend to sell faster and for more money. From a purely investment perspective, buying a home in a highly rated school zone tends to be a good investment. Tip number six, there are great private school options in the Tampa Bay area. If public school isn't your thing or you have a child with specialized needs or interests, then private school might be your best option. There are a wide variety of religious-based schools in the area, Montessori schools, specialty programs, all sorts of things. I personally have experience in two of the private schools in the area, and I loved both of them for different reasons. Tuition varies greatly, and it can be very expensive, especially in the high school years. But for some families, it is an important investment. Personally, I only sent my kids to private schools in the years that I really felt like they needed something different from what their neighborhood school was offering. Tip number seven. Florida has state-sponsored preschool education. If your child is four years old before September 1st, then they are eligible for voluntary pre-kindergarten. The preschool programs have to be VPK certified by the state of Florida to qualify. The state of Florida will pay for up to 540 hours of instruction during the entire school year. If you choose to do a summer program that would take place right before your child starts kindergarten, the state of Florida will pay for 300 hours of summer instruction. And this is a great program and it saves you money. Keep in mind that if your child is in full-time daycare, then VPK will not pay for the full day's tuition, but it does pay for a portion of it. If you want totally free pre-kindergarten, then you can only send your child to the preschool during the times that VPK is offered, which would typically be a few hours every day. If you want more information about voluntary pre-kindergarten, check out the link in the description box. Tip number eight public colleges and universities in the state of Florida are very affordable and very good. The average tuition this year, excluding fees and books and living expenses, in the state of Florida is $3,795. The average in-state tuition in the U.S. as a whole is $6,669. Plus, Florida has state-sponsored scholarship opportunities for the highest academic achievers. We also have prepaid options that allow you to save for your child's tuition over the course of many years. According to the 2022 rankings in U.S. News & World Report for public universities, the University of Florida is ranked number five in the nation. Of course, it is number one in my book because I'm a graduate. Florida State University is ranked number 19 for public universities. The University of South Florida here in Tampa is ranked number 46 and the University of Central Florida in Orlando is ranked number 67. 
And finally, tip number nine. And this one is super important because I know you are all looking at school rankings online. You have to do it, it is your best source of information. However, when looking at school rankings or school grades online, please make sure you know where that website is getting their information from. Good schools are made up of all sorts of ingredients, some of which are quantifiable and can be used in the algorithms, other factors are not. There are two sources that I typically refer to my clients. First is the Florida State School Accountability Report. The 2021-22 updated report was just released, so we finally have some new school grades. It gives each school a grade from A to F based on school testing. It is a dense report. It is every school in the entire state. It has ridiculously small font, but there is a lot of information in there. I will have the link in the description box. I do find that the schools that have A's or B's as their grades are the ones that my school conscious buyers tend to ask about the most. The other source that I will recommend is greatschools.org. This website really pulls apart a lot of school information that can be really helpful. The one part of greatschools.org that I don't really like is the review section. A lot of the reviews that you'll see on schools are very dated and don't necessarily apply to the current staff or administration. And obviously to truly get an idea of what a school is like, your best bet is to visit the school and talk to parents who currently have students enrolled in that school. It definitely takes some time and some research, so you gotta get down here and start looking. I really hope that this helped for all of you who are doing research on Tampa schools. Use those links in the description to get some more information. As always, if you're looking to buy or sell in the Tampa Bay area, please give myself and my team a call. We'd be happy to help. And if you're not a subscriber to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for something else to watch on my channel, please check out an awesome video I did recently on Florida property taxes. Lots of great information in there. Thank you all for watching. With love, Melanie.